Once upon a time, a man named Samuel Stephens Kistler created Aerogel, an open-celled material that is typically comprised of more than 95% air. With individual pores less than one ten thousandth the diameter of a human hair, the nanoporous nature of Aerogel is what gives it the lowest thermal conductivity of any known solid. The remarkable characteristics of silica aerogel, the low density, the lightweight, and unmatched insulating capability is what made NASA want to use it for cryogenic insulation for space shuttle and space exploration mission applications. When a shuttle is fueled, it requires more than half a million gallons of cryogenic liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. To remain a liquid, hydrogen must stay cold at negative 253 degrees Celsius and liquid oxygen must remain at negative 183 degrees Celsius. Seeing that the incredibly cold fuel needed to be separate from the hot flames, it was a perfect fit to use silica aerogel as an insulator between the two. But up until that point, aerogel had always been too fragile to handle in its solid form and too time-consuming and expensive to manufacture. But thanks to James Fesmeyer, the senior principal investigator of the Cryogenics Test Laboratory at the Kennedy Space Center, NASA started to pursue the development of a practical form of aerogel, one that would be flexible, durable, and easy to use, but also still exploit the phenomenal heat flow stopping capability provided by the nanoporous aerogel. Kennedy Space Center then awarded a research and development firm called Aspen Systems Incorporated a small business innovation research contract to create such a form of aerogel. After much testing, Aspen Systems was able to determine the true thermal performance of the aerogel samples they had. By 1999, Aspen Systems developed a manufacturing process with NASA that cut production time and costs as well as produced a new form of aerogel, a flexible aerogel blanket. To develop and market the revolutionary product, Aspen Systems created Aspen Aerogels Incorporated. In 2009, the company had become the leading provider of aerogel in the United States and currently produces nearly 20 million square feet of the material per year. While NASA uses Aspen Aerogel products for cryogenic applications such as launch vehicles and space shuttle applications, there is an array of commercial industrial applications which help maximize insulation and energy in our everyday lives. Most recently, the NASA-derived aerogel has been applied to protect and insulate people's hands and feet. One such company that makes such products is Polar Wrap, which uses material from Aspen Aerogels to create insoles called Toasty Feet. Toasty Feet resists heat loss and heat gain. According to the company, sales totaled over a million and a half pairs in 2009. Toasty Feet has made it easier for ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Two people walked the length of the Great Wall of China, a 4,500 kilometer walk that took six months wearing Toasty Feet. A mountaineer climbed Mount Everest using toasty feet instead of liner socks and said her feet stayed warm. And an endurance runner who ran a marathon from Death Valley to Mount Whitney, California said her feet stayed heat-free while wearing toasty feet. Originals by Weber is another company now using Aspen Aerogel technology. The owner, Terrence L. Weber, wanted to help people with Raynaud's disease, a condition that causes the fingers and toes to feel numb and cool in response to cold temperatures or stress. So he used aerogel material to create wrist and ankle wraps which insulate the blood and maintain it at a normal temperature. In addition to insoles and wrist and ankle wraps, Aspen Aerogel is already improving performance in oil and gas pipelines, natural gas ships and storage facilities, as well as defense, aerospace, and everyday appliances. The possibilities for the uses of silica aerogel are endless, whether the uses are for the exploration of other planets or for here on Earth. And with that said, the story will never end, and we'll always be waiting for the next chapter to begin.